welcome back to the Dear Wyman House. This month's Curator's Pick video is, starts out here in the living room of Charles Deere's home. Originally, it was built in 1872, designed by William LeBaire and Jenny. But Jenny did not design one big living room like we have today. In fact, there were two parlors like Victorian homes often had. But we're gonna talk about how that changed and one special feature that was saved from the remodeling. Here we see the wonderful home that Charles Deere built in 1872. Uh, the family called this home Overlook, but William LeBaron Jenny, the architect, called it the Swiss Villa style. Right here in the front corner, you see the porch that wraps around the front and to the side. Just inside this porch is where the parlors were. So let's take a look at two pictures we have of the parlors. These pictures we believe were taken about 1900 and it shows a first one shows a lovely ladies parlor definitely the perfect room for mary dear to uh, greet uh, callers then the other parlor which sat just to the south of that ladies parlor was called the family parlor definitely where the family would have gathered in the evenings the door on the left is uh, out to the hallway, and the door on the right leads into that ladies' parlor. But let's go back and look at the ladies' parlor a little more closely. About 1909, Mary Deer decided to do some major remodeling. She had the contractor remove the wall between the two parlors to create that one large living room. Now that wall she removed is the wall there on the left, the one with the two fireplaces back to back in each parlor. So she was removing a structural support wall in the house. Not only did she have to remove the wall, but the chimney all the way to the roof and the two fireplaces on the second floor. Uh, by then they had already converted to steam heat and so fireplaces weren't quite as crucial. But uh, what I want you to look at more closely is the fireplace mantle. Wonderful painted wood feminine carved mantle. Uh, when they took the wall out, I think Mary Deer must have really liked this mantle because she kept the mantle, moved it up to the second floor, and reinstalled it in a guest room. Note the two small porcelain pieces on either side of the fireplace. Uh, those match the larger one that sits to the left of the fireplace. These are all wonderful Sevres pieces from the 1760s. And you'll see two of the small ones upstairs. They moved with the mantle. So let's head up to the second floor and take a look at the mantle today. We're now up on the second floor at the Dear Wyman house. And here's our fireplace that came from the ladies' parlor downstairs in the early home of Charles and Mary Deer. Uh, of course, our old photos are black and white. It's hard to tell exactly what color it was, but we have done some paint analysis, and it was definitely a very light cream uh, color. And so it was painted a little darker uh, to go with the room when it was moved up here. 
We're glad they saved it. Uh, I can't imagine what a job that was moving it up. But a couple things have changed, I think, besides the paint color. I think that painting over has lost a little bit of the detail and the marble work around the fireplace opening and the hearth. Uh, the early picture, it looks to me like it's a very plain uh, one-tone marble around the surround and the hearth. And there's a little more decorative work uh, with the grill work than what we have today. They didn't move the top edge of the fireplace opening up with the mantle. Here's one other little bit different angle to that parlor that was downstairs. And you can see that it was definitely all one color, one tone. Let's go up closer to the mantle and I'll show you where we've done some paint analysis and you can see the light, light color that it was right there and right here. So definitely a, a cream color. We're hoping to do some restoration work in this room. And uh, so we've been doing quite a bit of paint analysis, as you can see on some of the walls. But there's those two small sever pieces. One of the lids is gone, one is cracked. So we just have the two urns back in their original setting from downstairs. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the moving fireplace. It's almost like they recycled something. Um, I don't think that was in vocabulary of people back then, but in 1909, we're so lucky that Mary Dear must have loved this mantle and saved it from her remodeling to move up to the second floor. We'll see you next month.